Let me ask you a question, Miss right. Hayslip. How would you like to hear pornography in 7.1 surround? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. They're coming from everywhere! I would prefer to hear musicals, but whatever. An affordable 7.1 home theater is hard to come by, especially one that sounds good, which is why Onkyo released the S5300, featuring a receiver with four HDMI inputs that are 3D ready. This 1200 watt system utilizes seven speakers and a subwoofer to give you a bona fide surround sound experience. There's even an iPod dock included, so get ready to experience the true meaning of home theater for 400 bucks. The sense of scale there just blew my mind. Right. Also, if you're a fan of homelessness and subwoofers, use this to shatter your mobile home. Right there. Uh, all right, so Ankyo isn't really known for having the coolest looking speakers in their home what? theaters. What? Look at these stylish true. black blocks of nothing. Like, Look at this. It's like the most basic speaker you could ever have. Pretty much. Um, but do you, do you think the design is too large or boring? Um, no, I mean, it's pretty standard for a speaker set. Yeah. You look at it and you know what it is. I mean, the front speakers, they're a little over a foot long, uh, and the... Uh, like a Subway sandwich. Pretty much, yeah. It's more than $5, though. Um, <laughs> other, the other four satellites are just under that size. Uh, the subwoofer is about a foot and a half tall. No removable grills. Sad. Yeah, uh, sorry. Um, and it kind of does have this big blocky feel to it. The other thing is, I don't know, on some of the speakers, they put this like plastic on the top. Right. I'm not sure. It reminds me of like when my dad went to Walmart and got plastic rims for his Hyundai that looked <laughs> that looked like they were chrome. True story. <laughs> Tried to class up the Hyundai with, with plastic. With plastic fake chrome looking rims you, from the you Walmart. You are revealing a lot of family secrets on the show today. Yeah, you know, it was about time. <laughs> um, all right. And so I'm not a fan of that that little plastic sheen. I wish they would have just gone with the all wood look like they did for the other speakers. Yeah, it's exactly. Now, now you, you said it has this, this blocky feel to it. I so did does say that, that mean it's going to get in the way in your living room at all? If you put your subwoofer in front of the couch, yes, you'll yes. stub your toe on it. Um, <laughs> but if, if, like any other home theater system, it will fit in depending upon your room. All right, so most home theaters we review have a DVD or Blu-ray player at the heart of the system with uh, very few inputs for other stuff. But Ankyo gives you a full-blown receiver, so does it have all the connections that we need? Like a teeny on prom night. Woo! Plenty of inputs. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> four HDMI's, four HDMI's that are 3D ready, two digital audio inputs. I said two, folks. Whoa! Two component video ins and four composite video inputs. Of course, it'll pass video and audio through the old HDMI, so all these ins and outs should be overkill for most people, but right. then again, we say that, and then a year later, you're like, oh, people I like, need to get a splitter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, they also have an on-screen menu to change settings, which mm -hmm. isn't something all receivers have. Good so. point, and, and it's a huge help, because the menus right. in here are complicated. Um, we did have to use the owner's manual. If you can no. believe that, we were torn to our masculine knees. Men don't knees. use owner's manuals. No, and you shouldn't have to in right. this day and age to figure out how to configure speakers I mean, and sound, but look at yeah. those menus. Um, wow. And the other thing is, there's no auto calibration option. And I get that it's, it's sort of a budget-minded 7.1 system, but most systems these days have a cheap little microphone. You plug it in, you put it in the middle of the room, you hit a button, and it figures it out for so you. So you trust the machine, Because you not don't your know brain. how to do it. Right. And neither do I. Like, we don't know how to balance audio systems. Yeah. That's why they need to do it for us. Exactly. So most importantly, after that, how does it sound? Oh, I, I forgot that's important for right. a sound system. Um, good. Oh. Good. The right. lows and the mids sound great. Um, we felt like there wasn't enough treble represented here. Got to represent the troubles. Um, and since it's a 7.1 system, you are enveloped in sound. You are Ooh. swaddled by audio. I love and it. we would like to hear more discrete sounds coming from each speaker. For example, we want to hear the bullets traveling across every speaker in the room when we're watching so our So you actually feel like ducking? Yes. yes. And it does get incredibly loud with no overloading, which is important. So overall, we were pleased. Aww. We liked it. We liked now, it. it's only 400 bucks, which that's pretty fantastic. Mm -hmm. So what are we rating it at that? Four out of five. Oh, yeah. There we go. One for every hundo it'll cost you. But the amount of system you get for the money is great. There's even an iPod dock. I don't know if we said fantastic. that. But there is a, a, a dock for that. Uh, we wish the sound would have been a little bit better. We would have given it a five. But for 400 bones, you're good to go. There you go.